In this video here, we're going to take a look at popular open source OCR models out there and also talk about how they work under the hood. So it basically just stands for optical character recognition and can be used for recognizing characters, text, sentences and all that in images. So a very cool use case could, for example, be license plate recognition. So you could use an Autolytics model to go in, detect the license plate itself. You could detect some basic characters with a class with the Autolytics models as well, but usually you will just extract that bounding box, feed that into an OCR model, and it can extract, extract numbers and the characters from that license plate cutout. So let's just jump straight into it. Let's take a look at the different models available and also how they work. Inside the Autolytics blog post, we have a blog post covering it here. We also cover tons of other computer vision topics in the whole space and also just AI in general. And everything is covered in videos here on the YouTube as well if you prefer listening or watching videos instead of reading. So if you just scroll a bit further down, we can then just talk about like what is OCR, how is it working, what are different use cases, and then look at some open source models. But as I mentioned in the introduction, it's basically just a model, a deep learning AI based model that learns to characterize and also just detect characters. So it will both provide a location, it can also provide the text. Some OCR models, they only provide the text, but most of them, they provide both the position of the letters, often in the individual letters or characters, and then they reconstruct it back again to the text based on the distance between the character that has recognized and all of that. But it can recognize all different types of classes like text, numbers, all different characters that you have like in the alphabet or like on your keyboard, for example, anything that you can pretty much imagine in a text sentence. We don't have to train it on it. We can use the models directly out of the box. We don't need to have a class for the letter A, one for B and so on. As if you want to have a, like a class and a custom object detection model, this is a bit different. So what it does, we can actually go in and apply some pre-processing to it. So let's say that usually use an image cutout. If you have a big image, it's very hard to read some text and so on. So you need to do some, often need to do some pre-processing to our images or post-processing to some output results that we're getting, for example, for a license plate model with also Lytics. So that could be image sharpening, so the characters are more visible. Could also be like upscaling, enhancing the image just to make the characters more recognizable pretty much because the models they're not perfect if we only have a few pixels to look at if you can't even see it yourself it's very hard for these models to recognize the characters as well so that's pretty much the usual pipeline then it goes into the model it's just an ai model trained on recognizing these characters with both the prediction with our location but also what type of character it is and then it looking between distances for sentences and all that and then it can reconstruct everything back again so we have a text detection, we get the bounding box, then we do some language processing, and we can then output the results, use it in our pipeline. So if you look at some of the OCR models, there are some classical computer vision ones, deep learning based and so on, the, the new VLMs like vision language models, they're also very good, if not much better compared to traditional OCR models, as we're going to go through here with the open source models. You just send an API request, you get the response back based on your prompt, so you can recognize different types of characters. They have higher precision and all that, but again, you need like a network connection or you need to run a local VLM and all that. We have videos covering some of that, but also where we can do text extractions from the VLMs or even objects. But if you want to have everything running local with a camera connected to it, for example, if you go back to our license plate recognition system again, it's good enough to just have an Autolytics model, detecting license plate, extract the OCR text, get it into our database, then we can do matching if we want to do a parking management system or whatever use case that we can come up with. So input source here is just a photo pretty much. We clean and enhance it for better clarity. Then we get into our text, de de text detection. So we get our localization of our text areas and then we extract the actual letters characters, numbers, like any character, and then we reconstruct it here again with our output into individual sentences or the format that you want. So it's automatically going to detect that based on the spacing in between and so on. So these are some of the open source OCR models you can use 
out of the box they're pretty good they can extract most text as long as it's visible you can see it with your eye like it's very clear you don't have to like look at the image and try to like zoom in to be able to see what's going on and so on then the models here will struggle a bit more at least compared to the vlms and they're not perfect but if you for example have a clear recept like this one here any text-based document could also just be a pdf file it doesn't have to be an actual photo that you're taking with a camera and so on could be a pdf file as well which is way higher resolution you can extract the text from those files as well or any type of document directly with the ocr models so a very good one is the tesseract ocr model it's a bit old but it's still doing a very good job here we can see the extractions directly side by side so we can see we missed the fish here at the top so this is again, like this is pretty clear for human eye, but we can see it's a bit blurred. It's a bit blurred out. It doesn't get the SH here. So it only gets FI. We get the, we I think we missed the 280 Blacker Street. So here we have new Blacker Street. So it's also something with the, with the spacing in between. But you get the localizations as well. So here, for example, we can see it's not perfectly aligned. You could apply some other pros, bronze techniques and so on to align the boxes. So they are a line and then you can extract the text you can reconstruct the um, sentences or letters yourself so here for example we can see it separates street blacker here is one we have new york that's also split out we only detect york or we also act like have new here so new york that's two words we have ny we have the letter here or the number we have telephone number it extracts them separately here as well so yeah it does an okay job here we get the last extractions here so to say that you want to have like some accounting system you want to add up some numbers you can just extract all the numbers here on the right side sum them up and you get the sun here you can also validate that it's actually like summing up all the numbers correct invoice scanning very good one because we have very high resolution invoices or any pdf file pretty much with text another very good option is easy OCR it's very similar to the Tesseract you can try them out like it usually it's just pip install you can take the image throw it into the model you get the dir directly out with the localization and the text extractions as well last one here is the paddle OCR we take the video clips do a pre-processing we have a text detection detection box and rectification text recognition and then we get the output they're very similar all these models they're based on convolutional neural networks as well to just extract the text and the locations. Here are some other popular open source models, MMOCR, TROCR. So here we can see that for some more complex projects, we can go in and start to use the transformers for extracting all of that, getting higher precision, accuracy, and so on. But I would probably go for the VLMs, the vision language models. You can send a Gemini OpenAI API call with your image, even your image cutoff, you get the results back and they are superior in performance compared to these models here. But it really depends on your project and the use case that you're solving. So common applications of OCR models, I think by far the coolest one is the license plate recognition. It's very often used, could also be ID and passport verification. So you probably try to like do an ID scan of your government ID where you have to be within some circle. They take that circle and then they do the OCR extractions directly from there. And then they can validate if the information is correct or not. There's some blur detection and all that stuff. So that's also a very cool use case that if you want a project, some ideas for projects, definitely go with one of those. So there's some healthcare, like all different types of like patient records, reports, handwritten prescriptions lab reports all these things here can be passed through ocr scanners as well or just a single vlm call there's also models and options available out there where you just send the document you get all the text extractions back again legal industry tons of files tons of text in that industry as well historical preservations we also mentioned id and passport verification could probably add a license plate recognition that's a very cool real world use case where we have multiple steps we connect the optic detection model ocr we extract the outputs we apply some business logic on top of it we can save it into a database load it in again when we see the car again we can do some timing verification we can time how long is this car staying in some region or in the parking spots this is probably some of the coolest that you can build and also get a lot of experience with computer vision models and the whole pipeline end to end so there's of course like both pros and cons of OCR models like accessibility improvement, 
enhanced machine learning pipelines like template free extractions sensitive to image quality that's a very big con here struggles with certain hand handwriting or fonts so it, it's not really performing good on handwriting the vlms will probably be or are significantly better at handwriting and just low quality images in general but you still need to be able to see like it's pretty obvious that the vlm or the ocr model can't see the text if you can't see it with your own eyes so use that as a reference and you should also be able to see it pretty clear and even without any context post-processing still needed for the best of the best accuracy but this is pretty cool it can be used for tons of different use cases out there there's text everywhere in the whole world and you can use ocr models for that here we have tons of different open source models available they're very easy to run goes to the github repositories take an image throw it through the model takes the output and then also throw it into gemini open ai whatever compare the results and check it out yourself